What the hell's this? Uh, that's super cool, by the way. This is this is called a gold back. Uh-huh. When we were at the Snake River Animal Shelter Furball mm-hmm. a couple weeks ago, met a guy named Abram. And he's an investor in this company. So, mm-hmm. you know, consider the source. Right, he's, right. He's selling you on this stuff. Mm-hmm. But I thought this was an interesting idea. This is one one thousandth of an ounce of gold mm-hmm. that I'm holding in my hand. It's currently about four or five bucks mm-hmm. worth of gold. But it's, I don't know, laminated and it's got a heck of a design on it. It's real gold too. It's real gold. You could literally take that, melt it down, and it would be gold. If you had a thousand of these... Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'd melt it down to an ounce of gold. Uh huh. Interesting, isn't it? Right. This is an interesting currency. And by the way, it's not U.S. legal tender, but it is technically a negotiable instrument, mm-hmm. shall we say? Yeah. So, which I mean, to be fair, even like a chicken could be a negotiable in- instrument. Exactly. You know, like if there's someone who an egg, a shell, a stone. Yeah, yeah. Like it has value who wants because a chicken. <laughs> we agree it has value. Right. But you know, I I, I know a couple preppers. A mm-hmm. couple of them are close to me in my life. I don't agree with the philosophy that the world's going to hell in a handbasket. Right. To our point we made last week, the world's always been going to hell in a handbasket. Mm-hmm. But this fascinates me because it's the opposite of crypto. Right. Which is based on the same premise. Crypto only has value because we say it has value. The only difference is that with crypto, you don't have anything physical. Yes. It can evaporate in a heartbeat, whereas you're left with one one thousandth of an ounce of this. Goldback.com. And gold gold can be used for a lot of things. Yeah. Outside of just jewelry. Like it's put in electronics all the time. Yes. There are actual valuable reasons to have and use gold. There's a theory that the only reason we exist on this earth Mm -hmm. is because we were planted here by aliens to mine gold. (laughs) Hilarious. It's a great conductor. It's used in visors, like by spacemen, by NASA, like. Yeah, right. it's got several purposes. It would kind of make sense too, because like you know, we like we are kind of hardwired to be like, ooh, shiny thing, pretty. I want shiny thing. Yes. I'm gonna get shiny thing. Why is that? Like, isn't that neat? I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, either that or it's just because shiny thing is pretty. Anyway, goldback.com. It's already a <laughs> like approved and in use in Utah. Mm-hmm. Like they like there are some stores that have a goldback machine that they'll take this currency. Wild. So That's yeah, cool, it's, it, it's kind of cool. It's kind of a mm-hmm. cool idea. Just throwing that on your radar if you're interested in that kind of stuff. This is something I think if it comes to the walking dead, right? You, know, okay, but also, you can negotiate with. Hear me out though. If it comes to the walking dead, gold will no longer have a value. We don't need gold to do anything at that point. What we need are, f- we need food and ammo. Well, yeah, again, to the point that it is worth what people say it's worth. Right. Realistically, if we were in a Walking Dead type situation, people don't have the room in their backpacks to be carrying around gold backs. Well, okay. I agree. And I just want to say these are super thin. Sure. And if I had a thousand of them, they yeah. probably wouldn't be that heavy. They wouldn't be too bad. That's and the, true. The one thing they say on their website is this solves the problem of negotiating, mm-hmm. you know, purchasing something with something of value. You're right. Uh, at smaller increments than, say, having a gold coin or a gold bar. Which is brilliant. I'm just saying in that very specific scenario that you're talking about, I don't think people will care about gold anymore because really what they'll care about is food and ammo and that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. And baseball bats with barbed wire wrapped around them. And red scarves for some reason. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Like a a really bitchin' leather jacket. That's about it. You know, so if you got a really bitchin' leather jacket, hang on to that because that's really what you're going to need to barter with. (laughs) 